Dear friends of third secondary, welcome to your English program. I would like to welcome my dear colleague, Miss Caroline. Hello. Hello, Miss Caroline. Hi, my dear students. Welcome to our program back again. We're happy to be with you. Please be ready. Prepare all your stuff that you need, your paper, your pen, and get started with us now. Today, we are going to discuss The Prisoner of Zinda, Chapter 2. Summary of Chapter 2. Rudolf Resendil and the King of Ruritania, Rudolf Elfberg, stood in the forest near Zinda, looking at each other in silence and amazement. Colonel Sapp explained to the King who Rudolf Resendil was. The King was happy to see Resendil. He called Resendil his cousin and said that he was his double. Rudolf told the king that he was going to Strasso to see the coronation. Colonel Sapp and Fritz thought that it wouldn't be a good idea for Resendil to visit Strasso at that time as people might mistake him for the king. And that would cause a lot of problems. Resendil agreed and said that he would leave Ruritania that day. The king invited Resendil to have dinner with him. They ate a lot of food. At the end of the meal, Joseph the servant brought the king some cakes. It was Duke Michael's orders to give the king these cakes. The king ate a lot of cakes. Resendil ate only one cake. The next morning, Fritz and Sapp couldn't wake up the king. As Rudolf Rasendil looked exactly like the king and spoke perfect German, Colonel Sapp asked him to pretend to be the king. Rasendil finally agreed so as to rescue the king who was lying unconscious. Then Sapp and Rudolf would go back to the hunting lodge to bring the king. The king would return to the palace with Sapt and Rudolf would ride to the border and leave Ruritania before it was light. Juan's mother overheard Sapt's plan, so Sapt put her in the cellar with the king. On the way to the station, Sapt told Razindel everything about the king. When they got off the train in Strosso, Resendil had breakfast at the station restaurant. Marshal Strachan's arrived with his soldiers to meet the king. They had always lived well under the king's father. Therefore, they supported the king because they knew that nothing would change. Poor people lived in narrow streets. They were crowded into very small houses. They supported Duke Michael because he gave them hope for a better future. People in the streets of Strosso were clapping and cheering. There were colorful flags everywhere. People threw flowers from their balconies. Rudolf picked a flower and stuck it onto his coat. He got rid of his nervousness. And at that moment, he believed that he was actually the king. Suddenly, Rudolf saw Antoinette de Maubon on a balcony above him. She stared at him. It seemed that she knew him. Rudolf feared that she might call out and tell everyone that he was not the real king. Before we go to the questions, let's first have a brief about what we have already read. هناخد نبذة صغيرة عن إحنا قرينا إيه سوا الجزء الأولاني بيحكي على المقابلة اللي كانت بين رودولف ريزنديل and the king, the real king وإزاي الكينج كان مبسوط جدا جدا إنه لقى واحد شبهه لكن كان في مشكلة إنه رودولف قال للكينج إنه هو هيحضر الكورونيشن سيرموني رودولف قال للكينج إنه هو هيحضر الكورونيشن سيرموني بتاعته اللي هي حفلة التتويج 
لكن ساب قال ان هي ممكن تبقى مش فكره كويسه قوي لان ممكن الناس تتلخبط بين الكينج ورودولف فاقترح انه هو يسيب روري تانية في نفس اليوم الكينج كترحاب بريزن ديل لانه كان مبسوط جدا ان هو كان شبهه قوي هي uh, اوفرد ان هو يدخل معاه البيت بتاعه وياخدوا uh, اكل سوا او ياكلوا حاجه سوا فبلاك مايكل بعت لهم كيكس الكينج اكل كيكس كتيره جدا وريزن ديل اكتفى بواحده بس ليتر اون هنعرف انه الكيك ده كان مبعوث من مايكل وكان الكيك في مخدر علشان الكينج ما يحضرش الكورونيشن سيرموني كمان في عندنا the rest of the story it was introduced لما الكينج شاف او رود الفريزن ديل شاف المكان اللي كان الكينج هيتوج فيه the city was divided كانت متقسمة into two parts كان في جزء من الناس اللي هو ال rich people أو الطبقة الراقية في المجتمع والطبقة الراقية كانت بتدعم طبعا رودولف ألبرك اللي هو الملك اللي كان هيتوج بيكاز هما كانوا ناس عايشين في العصر السابق للملك الأب وطبقة ما بتهتمش كتير بأحوال الناس الفقيرة أو الطبقة الفقيرة ولكن الجزء الثاني من البلد كان موجود في بعض الطبقة المتوسطة أو الطبقة الفقيرة في المجتمع جزء مهم وصورة مهمة كانت موجودة عندنا في القصة إنه البلد it was divided into two parts الطبقة الراقية كانت تقيم في أماكن واسعة جدا وبيوت شكلها ثري جدا ودول كانوا بيدعموا رودولف ألبرج اللي هو الملك اللي كان هيتوج لأنه they used to live في العصر اللي قبله الناس اللي كانوا بيتبعوا الأب وعارفين إنه nothing would change مفيش حاجة هتتغير هتفضل الحياة كما هي وبالتالي ما كانش بيهتموا قوي بحالة البلد أو ما يكون على الصعيد الآخر من البلد إذا كانت الطبقة الفقيرة أو الأحوال التانية الجزء الثاني من البلد كان بيسكنوا الفقراء أو الطبقة الفقيرة العاملة ودول اللي كانوا بيدعموا بلاك مايكل وهم اللي كانوا عايزين بلاك مايكل إن هو يبقى الملك شوارعهم كانت ضيقة بيوتهم كانت بتبدو عليها الفقر أكتر طبعا من البيوت التانية وده اللي هيبين إنه كان في طبقتين في البلد جزء منهم الأغنية بيتبعوا رودلف ألفرج وبيدعموه والجزء الفقير اللي بيتبع دوك مايكل وهنشوف بعد كده إنه أول ما هيدخل رودلف ريزندل وياخد المسؤولية إنه يمثل الملك أو يكون مكان الملك في التتويج هيحس إنه المنظر ده أو الحال ده مش مريح بل بالعكس هيتقرب أكتر للفقراء وهيحسسهم أكتر إنه هو منهم وده اللي هيخليه يبان إنه شخص إلى حد ما مختلف عن الملك نشوف مع بعض some of the questions and their answers please be ready with your paper and pen and follow with us answer the following questions why did the king of Ruritania seem surprised to see Rodolf Rosendale? The king of Ruritania seemed surprised to see Rudolf Rosendale because Rudolf Rosendale looked exactly the same as him. Why wasn't it a good idea for Rudolf Rosendale to go to Strasso according to Fritz von Talenheim? It wasn't a good idea for Rudolf Rosendale to go to Stralso because he looked exactly like the king. And that may cause problems for Rudolf and for the king. Why, where did the king and Rudolf Rosendale have dinner together? They had dinner together in the hunting lodge. His brother Michael used for hunting. How did Colonel Sapp wake Rudolf Rosendale up? The next morning in the hunting lodge, the colonel threw water over him. Why couldn't Colonel Sapp and Fritz wake up the king the next morning in the hunting lodge? It seemed that the king had been drugged or poisoned by the cakes he ate the night before. The cakes that the king ate in the hunting lodge had a very bad effect on him. 
explain. His face was red and he was breathing heavily. His pulse was weak and slow. According to Colonel Sat, what would happen if Rudolf Elfberg wasn't crowned on the specific day? He wouldn't ever be the king. What would happen if Duke Michael managed to take the crown? Rudolf Elfberg, the king, would either be dead or in prison. What did Colonel Sapp suggest to prevent Duke Michael from taking the crown? He said that Rudolf Rasendel could go to Stralsau to be crowned as he was exactly like the king. At first, Rudolf Frasendil objected to replacing the king for two reasons. What were they? People would realize that he wasn't the king. He was English. He wasn't a Ruritanian. What was Colonel Sapp's plan to get the ill king back to the palace? Sapp? Fritz and Rudolf Rasendel would go to the palace. Sapt and Rudolf would go back to the hunting lodge to bring the king, while Fritz would stay in the palace to guard the king's bedroom. Then Rudolf would leave the country. Why wasn't Rasendel as sick as the king? He ate only one of the poisonous cakes, but the king ate a lot. What things did Sapp tell Rudolf Fresendil about the king on their way to the palace? He told him about the history of the king's life, of his family, likes, interests, weaknesses, friends and servants. Who did the rich of Stralsu support, the king or Duke Michael? Why? They supported the king as they had always lived well under the king's father and they knew that nothing would change. Who did the poor people of Stralsu support, the king or Duke Michael? Why? They supported Duke Michael. They didn't like the king as they didn't want things to stay the same. Read the quotations and answer the questions. It's good to meet you, cousin. You must forgive me if I seem surprised. It's not every day that you see your double. Who said this to whom? The king of Ruritania said this to Rodolf Frasendil. Where was this said? It was said in the forest near Zinda. Why did the speaker seem surprised? The speaker seemed surprised because Rudolf Fresendil looked exactly like the king. Quotation 2 Don't worry, sir. I understand the problem. I'll leave Ruritania today. Who said this? To whom? Rudolf Fresendil said this to Fritz and Colonel Sapp. Who does he refer to? It refers to the king of Ruritania. What happened to the person who ate the cakes? His face was red and he was breathing heavily. His pulse was very weak and slow. Quotation 3 The whole country is waiting for him today. Most of the army is waiting too. Who said this to whom? Colonel Sapt said this to Rodolf Fresendil and Fritz. What did the speaker mean by him? Rudolf Elfberg, the king of Ruritania. What would happen if the person they were waiting for didn't appear? Duke Michael would become the king of Ruritania. Quotation 4 
It was lucky that we met yesterday because you can go to Strasso to be crowned. Who said this? To whom? Colonel Sapp said this to Rodolf Rosendiel. Why was it lucky to meet that person? He looked exactly like the king. Why couldn't the king himself go to Stralso to be crowned? He was too ill to go as he ate some poisonous cakes. Quotation 5 It would be easy to forget that because your German is perfect and if we dress you in different clothes, no one will know. Who said this quotation and to whom? Fritz said this to Rodolf Rosendiel. What did the speaker want the addressed person to do? The speaker wanted him to be crowned instead of the king as the king was too ill and that person looked exactly like the king. Why would they dress that person in different clothes? They would dress him in different clothes so that people wouldn't know that he wasn't the king. Quotation 6 If you don't go to Stralso, Duke Michael will be the king tonight. Who said this and to whom? Colonel Sapt said this to Rodolf Rosendiel. Why was that person chosen to replace the king? He was chosen to replace the king because he looked exactly like the king. What would happen if Duke Michael became the king? Rudolf Elfberg would be dead or in prison. Quotation 7 Nothing is safe anywhere, but we must do our best. Who said this and to whom? Colonel Sapp said this to Fritz. Which place were they talking about? They were talking about the hunting lodge in the forest near Zenda. Why was it important for that place to be safe? It was important for that place to be safe because the king was left unconscious there and they didn't want Duke Michael and his men to know about that. Quotation 8 Let's hope we are all alive tonight. Who said this and to whom? Colonel Sapt said this to Rodolf Rosendiel. Why did the speaker hope they were all alive that night? Sapt asked Rudolf Rosendiel to replace the king who was too ill and if Duke Michael discovered that plan, he would kill them all including the king and take the crown. Where was this said? It was said on the train going to Stralso. Quotation 8 Surely she knew who I was. Surely, she would call out, that's not the real king. Who said this? Rudolf Rosendiel. Who was the woman the speaker was talking about? Antoinette de Maubon, a very rich French woman. Why did the speaker pretend to be the king? He pretended so because the king was too sick and if he didn't go to the coronation, Duke Michael would take the crown. Find and correct the mistake in each of the following sentences. The king invited Rassendil to eat with him in Stralso. The king invited Rassendil to eat with him in Ruritania. Duke Michael wanted to be an army commander. Duke Michael wanted to be the king of Ruritania. It was Rosendale's idea to pretend to be the king for the coronation. It was Colonel Sapp's idea to make Rosendale pretend to be the king for the coronation. 
Michael's men hid the king in the cellar. Fritz and Sapt hid the king in the cellar. Joseph and Juan's mother were locked in the cellar. The king and Juan's mother were locked in the cellar. Fritz felt so happy when he shook Marshall Strecken's hand at the station. Fritz felt so nervous when he shook Marshall Strecken's hand at the station. Joseph was a very important person in the Ruritanian army. Marshal Streckens was a very important person in the Ruritanian army. It was too hard for Fritz and Sapp to wake up the king because he slept too late the night before. It was too hard for Fritz and Sapp to wake up the king because he ate poisonous cake the night before. The king believed that good food was more important than travel. The king believed that good food was more important than sleeping. Summary of Chapter 2 Rudolf Fresendil and the King of Ruritania, Rudolf Elfberg, stood in the forest near Zinda, looking at each other in silence and amazement. Colonel Sapp explained to the King who Rudolf Fresendil was. The King was happy to see Fresendil. He called Resendil his cousin and said that he was his double. Rudolf told the king that he was going to Strasso to see the coronation. Colonel Sapp and Fritz thought that it wouldn't be a good idea for Resendil to visit Strasso at that time as people might mistake him for the king. and that would cause a lot of problems. Resendil agreed and said that he would leave Ruritania that day. The king invited Resendil to have dinner with him. They ate a lot of food. At the end of the meal, Joseph the servant brought the king some cakes. It was Duke Michael's orders to give the king these cakes. The king ate a lot of cakes. Resendil ate only one cake. The next morning, Fritz and Sapp couldn't wake up the king. As Rudolf Rasendil looked exactly like the king and spoke perfect German, Colonel Sapp asked him to pretend to be the king. Rasendil finally agreed so as to rescue the king who was lying unconscious. Then Sapp and Rudolf would go back to the hunting lodge to bring the king. The king would return to the palace with Sapt and Rudolf would ride to the border and leave Ruritania before it was light. Juan's mother overheard Sapt's plan, so Sapt put her in the cellar with the king. On the way to the station, Sapt told Razindil everything about the king. When they got off the train in Strasso, Resendil had breakfast at the station restaurant. Marshal Strachan's arrived with his soldiers to meet the king. They had always lived well under the king's father. Therefore, they supported the king because they knew that nothing would change. Poor people lived in narrow streets. They were crowded into very small houses. They supported Duke Michael because he gave them hope for a better future. People in the streets of Strasso were clapping and cheering. There were colorful flags everywhere. People threw flowers from their balconies. Rudolf Fick picked a flower and stuck it onto his coat. He got rid of his nervousness. And at that moment, he believed that he was actually the king. Suddenly, Rudolf saw Antoinette de Maubon on a balcony above him. She stared at him. It seemed that she knew him. 
Rudolf feared that she might call out and tell everyone that he was not the real king. My dear students, we have come to an end to our program today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've benefited from it. Don't forget about our time and wait for us, please. We are looking forward to seeing you next time. Be ready and hope to see you all next week. Bye-bye.